got that far. I want to explain exactly what your son has gone through and what the campus has gone through. This has been a hard week. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. We came out here on Monday, practiced on this field all day. Almost 112 three. With all the rubber pellets and with the nylon grass, it was warm. But they got through it. They made it, they got through it. They got up every morning and we ran it for a mile and a half. And those that were day campers or extended day campers obviously weren't involved in that. Trust me, it hasn't been easy, but that's part of this camp. That's part of the reason why the owner, Rick Whittier, tries to have people understand when we talk about accountability, fellowship, right? You see these signs around the field at times that talk about that. We try to make sure they understand the importance of doing the little things right because that's what football's all about. We really feel comfortable with that part of it. We feel like we accomplish things. We've only been practicing two days, actually four days. We've only been scrimmaging about two and a half days. My point is, it's a little shaky out there, all right? A little bit shaky in terms of team coordination because it does take some time. But you ought to feel proud as parents that they, that they went through this camp because there were, times, there were times in the morning when players were questioning whether this was really worth it when we take a run in the morning. Some of them didn't make it. But by yesterday, they all made it. They never quit. That's what we talk. We talk about that sign up there. Hustle, hit, never quit. Because that's important in life. I mean, that's exactly what the feeling is with Rick Woody, the owner of this camp. So we're, we're excited that you took part in this. As parents, we're excited that you took part in this. You ought to feel very proud of your son.